everyone, it's Heather, your OC Jamberry Girl, and let's talk about what I use to have a successful brewing session. Um, I start with a 20-quart stainless steel crock pot. I like to use the 20-quart because I like to brew a lot and freeze it so that I always have it on hand. You're going to need wired mesh strainers. Um, these are Cuisinart. They come in a set of three, and I actually do use all three during my broth brewing process. You'll need a large Pyrex uh, measuring cup, and this is used to pour the broth into whatever containers you're going to store it in. And I've gravitated towards these plastic um, BPA-free containers I can get at Target. I was using mason jars, which are perfectly acceptable, but I was having some breakage and I was doing a lot of transport with them and the plastic's just a lot easier for me. Um, you're gonna need some tongs for uh, getting bones and other things out of your pot. Uh, this may seem like a no-brainer, but plastic bags for putting the goodies in when you're done brewing. I actually didn't have any on hand the first time I made some broth. Degreaser of some sort because it does get kind of messy. And related to that, you will want an apron or a dedicated bone broth shirt because splash does happen. So once you've gathered all your kitchen utensils, you need to decide what kind of broth you want to brew. And these are the four types that I'll be doing videos on. And you see the brew time there to the right. That may be one factor in your consideration of which one you want to be brewing. Uh, probably the second most important factor is the ingredients you have access to. So for the chicken, you need organic and free range. For the beef, you need organic and grass fed. And for the fish, you need something non-oily like rockfish or snapper, and you need the whole um, carcass. You need the bones and you need the head. You know, when I first got interested in broth, I wondered about this huge range. I mean, 12 to 70 some odd hours. How do you decide how long to brew your broth? I couldn't find good research that the longer you cooked it, the more nutritional value it had. However, if there's anyone out there that wants to fund that kind of research, I happily volunteer to be part of it because I'm um, curious about that. Let me tell you through my direct experience, what I realized was the longer I cooked it, the more gelatinous my broth was. And if you did any of that research I suggested in my other video, you know how important that is. So I go towards that outer time within a couple of hours. Now, if you're uncomfortable leaving your stove on the entire time, I do. I haven't had any problem. My stove is almost constantly going since I started um, brewing broth. But what you can do is turn your stove off when you're going to bed or leaving the house, turn it back on when you're ready to brew again, bring it to a boil, and then down to a simmer. But you're only gonna count that simmer time in the brew time. So it will take you a little bit longer, but you can certainly do it that way. So regardless of the broth you choose, you're also going to need some filtered water, some spices because you want this to taste good. You're going to be drinking it every day, hopefully. Um, I use peppercorn and thyme and bay leaves. I want to mention that everything that's going in that stock pot, please um, have it be organic. You're leaching everything out, so you want it to be good stuff. Um, Vegetable-wise, I use celery, carrots, parsley, and onion, but get creative. Um, experiment. Do what sounds good to you. You're going to need some apple cider vinegar to leach the mineral from the bone. And once it's done, I like to spice it up with some sea salt, and I also use turmeric, which has some great anti-inflammatory properties, and also ginger. Um, so the last tip I want to give you before you choose which broth you're going to brew and move on to the video that's specific to that, is that give yourself a couple hours on each end for preparation and boil time, because you need to boil it and then do some skimming, and at the end for cooling and pouring and cleanup. So what I do is I give myself four hours on each end. You probably don't need that much time, but that way it's an um, enjoyable, um, non-stressful experience if you do that. So pick the broth you want to brew, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.